My name is Josephine Phillips and I'm the founder of Sojo, which is the UK's first clothing alterations and repairs app. We hope to bring circularity and reduce waste in the fashion industry. I'm Rishi Chowdhury, co-founder of Incube Space, and we enable commercial real estate owners uh, reduce their energy waste whilst improving their indoor air quality. I'm Isabel Goff, I'm CEO and co-founder of Circular, and we deliver carbon metrics to the built environment. Just in my uh, orange power, we're trying to turn every house into energy storage. So what that will do is that will empower all the renewables connected to the system, and then we can help out the grid when the grid is really struggling with, with the uh, renewable intermittency. Uh, my name is Ayça Dündar, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Solublu. Um, at Solublu, we are making edible packaging made out of seaweed that also extends shelf life of fresh food. The biggest driver for motivating us to keep going on our startup journey every single day is the fact that we're going to make a change. As we see every single day that we're doing repairs and alterations, increasingly we know we're going to make a change in the fashion industry and that's definitely the biggest motivator. Uh, so what drives us on our startup journey really is the fact that we're making instant impact, whether that's uh, reducing energy waste or um, uh, improving the air quality and health and well-being of our um, occupiers and tenants. We're starting to see more and more of kind of the biggest historical polluters in the industry coming to us saying we want to do everything we can to be more sustainable and reduce our impact. So seeing, seeing those people uh, kind of step up and want to lead us towards a more sustainable built environment is uh, just so encouraging. The biggest challenge that we're facing at the moment is definitely a lack of carbon data. Um, and for us, it's the lack of upstream carbon data. So um, pulling the R&D lever is something that we need to do um, pretty immediately in order to support innovation. So we are like uh, all the other startups. So we are facing the challenge of how to attract the right talents and how to get the best product to the customers. Um, I started my company in my um, kitchen. Uh, we didn't have everything that we needed, we didn't have the expertise that we needed, and um, we didn't have any big team. So our team grew gradually, but all the knowledge that we learned along the way was from other startups. Um, that's why um, Canopy Hub is a really good environment for us to be able to brainstorm with other startups or even big companies. It's sort of showing the future of where we're going um, in terms of how it was built and how it was created in such a sustainable way. But also it's really exciting that space is being created for these kinds of businesses and these kinds of initiatives. It's uh, really important that what's happened here on the retrofit side of things is showcased and other people can learn from this. And hopefully that pushes the industry forward. Ultimately, we want to be in the position where this is the norm. Yeah, it's a great building that uh, that's also in, well, embraced all the modern technology and also the concept of the net zero as well as sustainability. And that basically gave us a, a new level or a good example to say what we should do in terms of uh, retrofit and modern building. Company is based in Cambridge, so it makes a lot of sense to be able to pop in, um, have a desk space there and to brainstorm with other um, startups in, uh, in the building but at the same time, we can invite our clients to um, show where we work. It's an incredibly lonely journey when you're a startup and you don't know how to do things. So connecting to other like-minded businesses is really, really incredible. But also connecting us to other individuals and industry experts and leaders and business people who can really help bridge, us, bridge that gap into the sector and improve us is really exciting. Happy is bringing together this community. It's always, uh, you know, really useful to have that energy uh, in the same room, but also people going for the same mission. Access to capital, access to um, talented, knowledgeable people, um, and access to um, you know potential partnerships is what drives uh, innovation and in startups. There are founders uh, about two or three years ahead of us, and we can well holding our hands and in terms of fundraising and technology, etc. And also uh, a lot of good advice from the whole community uh, or wider community of uh, CSL.